All right, uh, you talked about that game in uh, in Jaws. Uh, I think it was the game of uh, match week one. We played to United, played a 3 3 draw uh, with uh, shooting stars. I know some couple of players and shooting stars. I mean, Antonio Kachi got on the score sheet in that game. A strike I'm looking forward to, but uh, let's quickly talk about shooting stars before we move on. You know, I mean, they've signed a lot of players. I mean, <laughs> we talked about you know, Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. I mean, shooting stars. Every minute on my Twitter feed, there's an announce. There's a player announcement from Shooting Stars uh, and all that. Um, do you think they are uh, among the favourites to maybe do something? You know, win the league this season or put up a surprise? Anywhere you have Benga Gobote, there is a possibility of something happening. He has He's also too. been the nearly man for a while. Mm. I mean, Benga Gobote was a coach in the FA Cup that took a three-goal lead in the finals and still lost it. Uh, Benga Gobote took an ordinary O-level. Uh, Sunshine Stars all the way to the quarter quarterfinals or semi-finals of the Cup Champions League some seasons ago with uh, Ibrahim Ajani on his team. Yeah. And, and <laughs> you know, he's done he's done some good works. You're, you're not going to sit here and put that coach uh, on the side and say you wave him aside. But then there are some new kids on the block. There is Fidelis Ilichuku who you cannot write off for what he did with MFM on a shoelace budget and took them on the, to the continent. For what he's done with Plato United also on a shoelace budget and taking them to the continent. He's knocking on the door. Last season, Rivers United were exceptionally good and brilliant. It was like Liverpool, Man City chasing the title and Man City winning it. But you know that what Liverpool have done in any other season, they would yeah. have won the league. And, and so... For three SE, yes, they have signed 22 players, a reminiscence of uh, uh, Nottingham Forest, and it seems like they will still sign some more. But I'm not going to discount them, I'm not just because I know all the players, but to go away and score, have the confidence of scoring three goals, playing the way they played. They could have even won the game, but then in the second half, he was playing two United on their neck, putting their knees on their neck, yeah. and almost killing them. But he still, they still were able to hold their own. It's free flowing football and and all that. I think that I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to sit here and say to myself, I believe that they will be up there somewhere, but I don't know if they will win it because Rivers United are still going to be in this title dog fight. Uh, it does look like Ben are willing to spend money. They went to Uyo to beat Aqua yeah, United 2 0. Yeah. It's a shocking result. I don't know if they can sustain it. Uh, it's hard for me to talk about Nigerian football and not mention the Remo Stars. Mm. I just think that they are a team that is doing all the right things and doing it the right way. Uh, their players might be inexperienced, might be very young, but they've got good coaching, good foundation, good basics. Uh, they are also in that conversation. And then there is the the big boys, Aimba Football Club of Aba. There's no kind of pillars this season. There's Aimba Football Club of Aba. They just went to, to play in play two and beat Nasarawa. Yeah. Aimba know how to take advantages where they need to take advantage. They've not been that good in the last couple of seasons. And Finney the Judge is on the on the last uh, straw. He's on the last line. Uh, he, he have no excuse anymore. He now ha- own his own team. He know the players. He should be able to to get on the horseback and ride it properly uh, without st- stumbling. Uh, but having said that, no matter how good you are with the horse, you know that there's always going to be a stump somewhere. There's going to be a puddle somewhere. There's going to be uh, some cough ball that you don't expect. How they ride those storm and how they deal with it is going to be important. And for them, how they deal with their eastern derbies against Heartland, against Sabia Warriors and uh, the the close eastern one against aqua united and then the closest team to them rivers united is 45 minutes drive yeah. rivers united how to deal with those games uh it's going to tell whether Aimba are going to win Aimba uh seem to be in a region that look like london like if you take all the london derby in the premier league you're most likely going to win the league all right fantastic fantastic analysis there and uh, you know quite a couple of interesting games to look forward to their midweek games in the APFL. and when you talk about remote stars you know i was checking their fixtures and i flash i remember they are playing shooting stars on sunday another interesting game uh, uh, it does it's look a, like one of the games that we might carry to, i mean you know two teams but uh, maybe like a derby game whichever you look at it but i mean the stars derby <laughs> Yeah, the devils of the yeah, stars. Yeah, yeah, of the stars. But I mean, the two teams are kind of uh, close to the proximity within both teams as well. So another game I'm looking forward to. But just before that, there are midweek games to look forward to. And hopefully, we get to enjoy the, the league season this time around. And uh, so many, you know, quite a lot of fun. Brilliant football, brilliant goals. I like the fact that I've been able to watch some couple of highlights from the match they won fixtures. The Bendel Insurance Aqua United, even though... The goals were uh, quite a, some controversies that you can't, it's everywhere, you can't take we'll away. We'll go through it. We'll, we'll go through it and all that. And uh, so, uh, finally, the season has started and hopefully we get to brilliant football now. You are listening to a Legbete TV radio.